Hello everyone, and today we're back for another Lumion Legacy PvP video, and today we're going to be showcasing Himber. Himber got a brand new move in Volca, making this thing really powerful. This Lumion already had 115 melee defense, so adding more melee defense and melee attack on top of that is going to make this Lumion hit really hard. So I'm running a brawny nimble set with ice essence. I have earthquake, rogue assault, ice hammer, and bulk up. You could replace rogue assault with quick punch to have priority, but I want rogue assault to hit extremely hard, especially against other ice types. And the TPs I have on this one, 24 in the energy, 76 in the health, 200 in the melee attack, and 200 in the speed to be as fast and hit as hard as possible. It's a full-on offensive himber. The team I have around this himber is Dokomori to, biff, to pivot. I got Luminami to pivot. I got a Kazune to also pivot, but this is more of like a fast pivot to go into Luminami. I got Zeflin to gust and get rid of barbs. I got Chironix, who has priority, and this thing is just OP. And I got Skellic just to set up a Drudge and potentially be a Drudge Sweeper. Of that out of the way, let's see how Himber does in battle. Alright! We're into battle number one with Folk Up Himber, and this is the team we'll battle. Very interesting team. I mean, there's a Gamma Paramine, there's a Gargola Reskin, there's an Alpha Nova Dias, a Ruptodon, a Lumion I kind of didn't want to see, so I'm going to bring you. Himber can be good if I use it correctly. I mean, I can use it against the Aliguana, so I don't get cave. I can... Uh... Problem is, a lot of these Lumions outspeed me, which is kind of a problem. Although I can hit them all pretty hard, so if I can get a Baffle up, I could do some pretty good work. I'm gonna have... Uh, does he have any barbs? I don't think he has any sets of barbs. I don't think he can place barbs. I'm gonna bring Ika just for fast speed. Yeah, he doesn't have anything that can place barbs, I don't think. Maybe the Gargolo, but I heavily doubt that. So I'm just going to bring Luminami. I'll lead off with Dokomore on the... Don't be Nova Di It's Nova Dias. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Nova Dias lead. Like, that isn't really that shocking. I'm just going to go into my Luminami and play it safe, honestly. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go Luminami and play it safe. I know you could have Heat Freeze, but this is a full-on defensive set. Okay, you are a burn up Nova Diaz, meaning that you have meaning that you have probably Deep Freeze, Fire Breath, and Draco Beam as your move. So let that sink in. Let's see what you go into next. So I'm just going to go for Flash and Flea. I should still be able to live the hit though, because it is a Luminami. He just swapped out into Nevermare. Okay, dang it, that really sucks. That really sucks. But, it's not the end of the world. I could go into my Dokomore and click the move Baffle, so... But is it the end of the world? This is where I wish I had the Spinebreaker one. But it's okay. Crit does no damage. Gonna go for the Baffle. If he goes Nova Dias, I just, you know... I Baffle into my Hipper and click the move Earthquake, so... That's fun. Nope, stays in Sharpen, setting up. Well... Okay, Nevermare. I have some bad news for you. I have a Himber that's happy to swap in. Now, will my Himber outspeed this Nevermare? I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I don't know. Is Nibble 200 even enough? It is. Okay, so it is enough. Good job. Good job, Himber. That should Oko the Nevermare. And it's out of here. Awesome. Nevermare is dead. Now, let's see who he goes into next. He can't go El Iguana. He has to go back Nova. Yeah, he goes back Nova. I just go into my Luminami again. There's no reason why not to just go Luminami. And with Nevermare dead, Flash and Flea is free. Which is awesome. Primal Slash. What kind of Nova Dias set are you? If you have Burn Up, Primal Slash. Burn Up, Primal Slash. Which Nova Dias are you? Do you have Deep Freeze? Or do you have Boiling Crest? I don't know why you would run Burn Up on a set that doesn't have a ranged attack. And plus, they would usually run Peace of Mind to get ranged defense. There's a Liguana. 
and it's a awesome. I can go into my timber for free yet again. And you know what? I'm gonna collect the haha -ha bolt cut move. I'm gonna collect the haha -ha bolt cut move. So that's what I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click the haha -ha bolt cut and try to get my melee defense a little higher. Even though a lot of his things are ranged attack. Okay, this guy's not TP Trey. Oh, are you kidding me? You're prismatic, Eliguana. You're prismatic, Eliguana. Let me click my bulk up, you stupid Eliguana. Why are you prismatic? Is it just to specifically get it off? Is that why you have Dazzling Barrage? Let me guess, I hit myself again. Oh, no. I mean, you know what? I doubt that you're stupid. No, you're gonna go for a stupid hellstorm. Just gonna just play it safe. Go skelet. Go skelet. Yeah, dazzling barrage. Yeah. So you have dazzling barrage, prismatic Eliguana. but you have Solbers. But you have Solbers to rub the dawn. I see how it is. That would have code me. That would have Okoed. So yeah, glad I swapped into this. I definitely gotta KO this thing, because this thing is very annoying. Tip goes for Hellstorm. Considering that was quad a quad resist, that did a lot of damage. The Hellstorm did just as much as the damage itself. I'm just way black ring. Awesome! Get out of here, Erupt the Dawn! You're dead! No surviving that. I brought that specifically for this, so that's good. Awesome. Hellstorm's still on the field. It's too dead. Still did half my health. Keep in mind, quad resistant hit, half my health. Just let that sink in for a second. That's it. Uh, I have outburst. I might as well click it. Might as well click it. Do some damage. Yeah, this person isn't really TP trained. Let's head into battle number two. Alright, battle number two with Bulk Up Himber. It didn't really do anything in the last battle. It did get a couple KOs, but other than that, it didn't really do too much. This battle is interesting. This looks pretty good for him, we're actually. Weak, 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 weak. It not weak, but not the greatest neither. So this thing can't really swap in neither unless it's sulfur. So if I could break through the ice goal, we'll be in a very good position, which I am gonna bring these two for it. There is that thing. That thing is a little scary, so I'm gonna make sure I do have priority for it. So I'm not completely just utterly wrecked by it. Does he have any barbs? Oh yeah, he does. He has that. So we're bringing that then. Uh, do I bring Luminami? Is Luminami a good bring? I mean, the only thing is the Beret, which I have alien attacks on it. I think I'm going to leave Ikazune behind. It could be a big mistake. Could be a mistake. But I want Baffle. So yeah, you know what? It could be a big mistake, but I think I'm going to do it. I'm gonna lead off with the Luminami on the Ice Bowl. Yes, this is what I want. This is a good matchup. Even if he Soul Burst and clicks Megatron, I'm still gonna get a super effective hit off. He's probably gonna get it down to like here. Which, honestly, getting that damage on Ice Bowl is important. Especially since I did not bring Ikazune. Like, it's probably a big mistake. The reason why the reason why Ikazune could have been a good bring is because of the Drago Dying potentially being boot. But I think this is the best play anyway. I want to bring Dokamori so I can use my Timber and potentially get a bulk up off. Because if I can get a bulk up off, it might be able to sweep if I can injure this Icy Gold. So that is what I'm trying to do here. Injure the Icy Gold, try to do a little damage, and hopefully my Himber, after a bulk up, can break through 13. Because I think I could outspeed a bunch of the Lumi. So yep, his is a Vayna Haste Speed, good to know. But I should still be able to- I should be able to outspeed the Icy Goal before Fade Away. Plus, I don't think it's gonna click Fade Away. Because Icy Goal's on the field. Because Luminami's on the field. So, I don't think he's gonna click Fade Away. Because Luminami's on the field. So, I think I'm gonna be okay. Party Trick is at the end of the world. Oh, now it's fed. Thundercrack! Really? Bag of tricks? And that's what it pulls. Okay, it's a bag of tricks set then. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, every time I use it, I, I pull like, give up. But he pulls Thundercrash. I see how it is. 
I see how it is, Mr. Icy Goal. I see how it is. We're just gonna bring you in and just go for a Nova and just go for a Nova Blast and do some damage. I guess he had quite a few slow Lumians. He had a Marath. I think Marath is just gonna come in, but Nope, he just goes for Chili Chomp. Go to a ton. Awesome. And Icy Goal's dead. That's huge. That's massive. That is a massive Lumion that have dead. Now if I can get rid of this party trick, I think my Hamburg can outspeed everything. There's Marath. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that's an oh dear moment right there. That's an oh dear. I don't know about y'all, but that's an oh dear moment. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a melee attack increase. I should live. Yeah, I live. I live the hit. We're gonna go for a Icicle Trap just to get him up. Get Icicle Traps up. On to the Dregodine. The so Dregodine is on the field. That's a little scary because I actually can't baffle on it. That's actually a little scary because I kind of can't baffle on it. I think I'm just gonna go Luminami and play it safe. Let's see what you do. This could be scary. Draco Beam? It missed. Oh my gosh. Why does Draco Beam always miss? I swear. Draco Beam always misses at least once every battle. It's crazy. It goes for the Pyrolin, which okay, gets rid of some barbs. That's fine. And now I have an idea. I think I have an idea what I want to do. I'm going to go Dokomori to get health back. I am weak, but I can go for Baffle. Oh no, Anomaly. Again, I can't do it for the Anomaly. I can't do it because it would give it an anomaly boost. So going back to Luminami. Can't do it because it would just give it an anomaly boost. See, I can't baffle. I'm prevented to use baffle because of the Dregodine. So yeah, I'm not clicking baffle. I'm not falling for that trap and giving it a plus one speed boost. Yeah, it's trying to it's trying to it's trying to bait me. It's trying to bait me, not having it happen. And this time I'll go for the I'm at full health down. This time I'll go for the ha ha wave wrecker move to predict no it's stayed in this time, but it's fine. We get damage on it. X Storm? How much? Ow! You don't have to crit me, buddy! I wish I went for a flash. Did I outspeed it? I did outspeed it actually. I go for flash and play. Because yeah, you are a I know what set you are. I know what you are. You're a Bane of Haste Dragodine. It's a Bane of Haste Dragodine. And by the way, he's playing Pyrolin. I assume that's the same thing. I assume he's playing Pyrolin the same way. So you know what? I'm gonna call my I'm gonna call my bluff here and go into this Hipper. Yep, he's defensive. He's defensive Pyrolin, meaning I will outspeed it. And will KO it. Himber's looking very good here. Himber could sweep, actually. Which is not something I would say every day. This is a team that's pretty slow. So, I might be able to actually get a sweep with Himber. I think I think my Illuminami outspent his Drago. So, his Drago was made with beta paste in mind. So, that means my Himber would outspeed it. Yep, you went in the Drago. I, I outspeed you. I just go for an Ice Hammer, and that should KO you. Yep! Oh my gosh, you might get a Hipper Sweep. I, I didn't even need a bulk cup. I might I might click one for the Harv to live in. I might I might click one for the Harv though. I might click one for the Harvest set. If he brought it, of course. Because I remember him having a Harv. Oh my gosh, the Yeti is about to sweep. The Yeti is awoken. Marath? Nope. No reason to bulk up. Range attack boost. We just go for the earthquake that should KO you. I have a bad feeling this is clutch plushy. Even if it was though, it's still gonna be two, almost three KOs with timbers. You know what? I'm okay with just attacking it. Nope, it's not clutch plushy. We might. Oh my god, we might just get a Hipper sweep. We might just get a Hipper sweep. What is your last one? Dokabare is your last one. We go for the Ice Hammer. Do a ton of damage. This, I don't think it's a one-shot, but it'll do a ton of damage. 
Oh, yeah, tons of damage. Awesome. Bulk up. Oh, setting up. It's going to sweep me. It's going to sweep me. The Stokamori with no speed is going to sweep me. It's, I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, that's a GG's. Hipper popped off in that one. Let's head into battle number three. All right, battle number three with Hipper. Hipper has done amazingly, but I haven't found a shot to use bulk up yet. And this battle is hit or miss. I can definitely, there are some Lumians I can use this with. I can use this on the Dokumori. I can lead with it on the Dokumori and Metatoad. And then I can, but there are some things that have priority. So I do got to be a little bit careful. Protocon also outspeed, so I'm going to bring you. You look amazing in this battle, actually. You can hit pretty much everything. You can hit this, you can hit this, you can hit this, and this. Even though you won't hit this pretty hard, but yeah, you'll still be able to hit it. As for other Lumians to bring, Dokumori is kind of a bad bring for this battle, even though it's kind of the only thing for that. I'm gonna bring Yus in case they get barbs up. And the last thing to bring, I'm debating between Skellic and Luminami. I think I'm gonna bring Luminami, and I'm gonna lead off with the Hember on his, either his Metatode or his Dokumori. He led with your soul. He led with your soul. Dang it! Why do you have to lead with that? You're so funny. Thing that sucks is I don't have a swap in for your soul. So what do I have for you? Nothing really. I think everything kind of dies. I think everything dies, which is awful. Yeah, everything dies. No milkshake. Uh. Uh. This sucks. This really sucks. Ah, uh, that's so much damage. Okay, okay. We lived at least, so I'm just gonna go for the attacking move because a slap down does not KO me after the item's gone. So. We at least can threaten the Yursal for one attack, but it's still at full health is the problem. This is, yeah, this is a bad start. I can't believe he would lead with Yursal! He thought I was going to lead with him, but to be fair, I had him burn my lead spot, but still... Okay, he swapped at least. At least I finally get an attack in the block. On the Protagon, awesome. That's actually very good. That's very good to have. An attack on the Protagon. It's going to get did it down to half. Critical hit. Eaten. Light speed ray. Light speed ray, I don't care. I'm, I'm taking the RNG. That Hibber almost swept. I almost got swept by that. That Hibber is, uh, your soul at the start. Just get rid of this Protagon. Get my health. Now, I'm a little bit better off against that your soul. So, gonna save you for later. For that your soul specifically, because I'm gonna need this. Gonna need this. And he brings out Metatone. So, I think. So, fun fact, I don't have a resist. I don't have a resist to Toad. So, that's not great. I'm gonna go Luminami, and maybe I can get an attack off. Psycho Blast. I live. I might be able to outspeed this, just depending on what this Metatoad set is. Oh, he's saving it for later. I should have flashed and play. There's a wind trick. Get a wave wrecker off. Get a little damage. Oh, it's a lot of damage, actually. I can go into my... Ikazune is basically free. Like, it isn't free, but Ikazune can come in and do damage. I have Zeppelin for your soul if I need it, so I'm not that nervous about that. So I'm not nervous about taking a jet stream. Unless this is... Okay, it's not. Okay, we're good. We're gonna go for the... We're gonna go for the... I don't know. Zip Zap, Flash and Flay. Flash and Flay for that. Yeah, on your soul, right? Your soul, your soul. Yes! Damage on it! We need to get rid of this thing if we can. Free damage. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, buddy. Uh, okay. I mean, 
Zeppelin should still be able to live, so that's okay. But I'm not in trouble or anything, but I'm going to live that. Yeah, st I, I live that decently well, actually. And get out of here, your soul. Your soul is dead. Awesome. That's the biggest thing threatening my hymn murder, and that thing is dead. He goes into Wintrix. Yeah, I can't really hit you with this, so that makes sense. He could set up a piece of mine. So honestly, I think I'm gonna go into my own Himber here. I think I think my own Himber is the best option. Hopefully, I can lift two hits. Death stream. Ow! Oh, really? Uh, this was the showcase, Lumian. Well, nothing lives. Uh, well, we sacked Luminami then. Yay! I love it when the showcase Lumian gets critted. I love it. This is the showcase looming in your dumb game. Well, that sucks. The only thing I can kind of use this now is for the toad, and that's it. So, that's great. Thank you, Wintrix. Thank you, Mr. Wintrix. You didn't need to do that, but you did it anyway. I love crits at the worst possible time on the showcase looming Like, the problem is, I don't think... I feel like my RNG is worse when I'm trying to showcase a Lumion. But when I'm just actually battling, I think my RNG is decent. I lift that hit, actually. Well, I'm just gonna go for Flash and Play. I lift the hit, also, but I doubt. Yeah, I don't live, but that's okay. It's Wintrix is almost out of energy. We go into the Inca. We go for the Zipsack, the Pivot. I don't think you have any Earth type, so it's perfect to just go for the Zipsack. Yep, Wintrix is dead. Massive. Wintrix is dead. I just bring... I bring Himber. He has two left. This is so he can't force Metatoad on the field. So he can't force Metatoad. He cannot force the Metatoad. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's not great, personally. <laughs> okay, that's not great, actually. That's really bad. I, I think I have a plan on what I could do, though. I'm gonna go Tyronic. We're going to go live the boiling. Pretty well, actually. Get the burn, but it's just the burn. It's okay. It's just the burn. I'm just going to go for the light speed ray and play it safe. Again, we got to play it safe. This thing can sweep me. Oh, God. This thing could easily sweep me. This thing could easily sweep me. This thing could easily sweep me. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Again, we're not in trouble, but this is going to come down to the wire a lot more than I thought. Because I don't think Ikazune Flash and Flay KOs it all the way. Okay, nope, nope, we, nope, we're in great position. Nope, we're in an amazing position, actually. Him going to the Metatode might have just lost him the game. Him going to the Metatode might have just lost him the game. So, yep, that he might have just lost the game on that. I'm going to take it. Go for the Earthquake. It will either KO the Toad or get it down to the very lowest thread. So, let's get it down. Yes! Took out the him. Took out the Toad with a crit. Might have mattered. Not 100% sure about that, but I'm going to take it. I don't think it would have lived. It might have. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what you go for. Going to go for an Earthquake. He goes for a Boiling Press. I could have swapped into Ikazune. The safest play is to just go Ikka. The reason why is because, again, Ikazune does outspeed the Arcelos. So Ikazune is the safest play to go for. Because I'm I'm not 100%. Nope, I just KO'd all the way. Yep, Ikazune was by far the best play to go for. And that is a GG's. I was only able to click... <laughs> I was only able to click bulk up once, and that was on a prismatic, dazzling Virage Iguana. That dazed me, which was just horrible circumstances. But I think in some situations, I think the bulk up variant could be good. I think Slumber would have been a better move to add to it, but I wouldn't want to add Slumber now because, you know, it has bulk up. And we already have a Slumber Lumion with bulk up, so yeah, we don't want another one. So yeah, Hibber, overall pretty good with bulk up. I didn't get to use it, but I think if y'all use it, you'll have some opportunities to click bulk up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing bulk up timber, and I'll see y'all all later.
Bye-bye!